Today we're going to talk about symmetry, specifically about the x-axis, the y-axis, and the origin. Now please note that the three diagrams that I have below are not drawn to scale. In the first one, this is a visual example of symmetry about the x-axis. So our x-axis is our horizontal axis, and the reason why this relationship has symmetry about the x-axis is that we have two coordinates that shown. Now notice that the x values of those coordinates are the same and the y values are reflections of each other. That means that it's symmetrical about the x-axis. So if we start with some coordinate, x, y, the symmetrical coordinate is the same x value and the opposite sign for the y value. That is always the case when it's symmetrical about the x-axis. If we move to the second example, we have symmetry about the y-axis. That means that if we start with one coordinate, x, y, the symmetrical coordinate has the opposite sign for the x and the same sign for the y. So look at the coordinates above. We have negative two, four. The y values stay the same, but the x values have the opposite sign. Negative two on the left-hand side, positive two on the right hand side. When we have symmetry about the origin, that means that if we start with some coordinate x, y, the symmetrical point that matches has the opposite sign for both the x and the y. So let's say that our original point is one, one. The symmetrical point, if it's symmetrical about the origin, is going to be negative one, negative one. So that takes care of the visuals, but how do we determine if something is symmetrical if we have to prove it algebraically? We're going to test algebraically. So the question is, determine if the equation is symmetrical about the x-axis, y-axis, or the origin. Now just so you know, you can have more than one type of symmetry. So you actually have to do the test for each different type of symmetry. So let's go through some steps. We're given the question y equals negative x fourth plus four x squared plus five. Let's test for the x-axis first. The rule is that if it's symmetrical about the x-axis, then a coordinate x, y will map to x negative y. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the x negative y and we're going to change the original equation by subbing in x for x, so that's actually not going to change, and we're going to change the y value to be negative. So we're going to end up having negative y on the left-hand side because our, our y value changes to negative, and on the right-hand side, everything changes, this, or everything stays the same. So we have negative x to the fourth plus 4x squared plus 5, because really the x is just being replaced with an x. The next step is we want to simplify. So we're going to isolate the y. Right now, y is being multiplied by a negative 1. So what we're going to do we're going to multiply this by negative one again to get y by itself, then it will be positive on the left-hand side. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So we end up getting y is equal to, we're gonna distribute this negative to each term. So our new equation is y is equal to x to the fourth minus 4x squared. Now we have to determine if it's symmetrical. In order to, de in order to determine symmetry, the rule is we compare the original equation. So the original equation is y is equal to negative x to the fourth plus 4x squared plus 5, and we compare that to our new equation. 
y is equal to x to the fourth minus 4x squared minus 5. If they are the same, then it is symmetrical. So these are not the same. The signs are opposite. So in our case, this is not symmetrical. So we did one test for symmetry about the x-axis. Now let's go and check the y-axis. So we go back to the original equation that was given in the problem. We want to check the y-axis, so that means our rule is that if it's symmetrical about the y-axis, the x value will change signs and the y value will stay the same. So let's go look at our notes plug in, so this time we're going to plug in negative x, positive y into the equation, and then we're going to simplify. So the y value stays the same. The x value is going to become negative. Now we're going to simplify. Here we plugged in When we simplify, we have to be careful of our order of operations. The negative is on the outside of the parentheses, and then there's another negative on the inside, which is going to just become positive because we're multiplying it four times. The negative for the second term is going to become positive as well because it's negative x times negative x, so it becomes positive 4x and then the 5 stays the same. Now, step 3, we compare our new, a new equation with the original. Are they identical? Yes. So therefore, yes, symmetrical. About the y-axis. Now you can probably make an educated guess about the symmetry about the origin, but we actually have to prove it. So if we're checking symmetry about the origin, that means that our original x and y are going to change to a negative x and a negative y. So we're going to plug in negative x, negative y. We're going to simplify, so I'm going to simplify the right-hand side first. Then I'm going to multiply everything by negative 1. By distributing that negative 1 to each term. Then the last step is I check the final with the original. Are they the same? They are not. So a no is not symmetrical about the origin. So even though we could have predicted that, we actually have to show the work.